Okay, let's do some example problems on sketching ellipses. In this example, we have the equation 4x squared plus 9y squared equals 36. Now, this is an ellipse centered about the origin. And the reason why it's centered at the origin is because there are no linear x or y terms. So there are no first order x or y terms in this equation to offset the center coordinates from 0, 0. Now for the first activity to show the vertices, we need to get this equation into standard form, which is x squared on a squared plus y squared on b squared equals 1. So if we divide both sides of this equation by 36, so on the right hand side 36 divided by 36 equals 1, 9 over 36 cancels down to 1 quarter so we have y squared on 4, and 4 over 36 cancels down to 1 ninth so we have x squared on 9. So in standard form, we have x squared, 9 is a square of 3, so we have x squared on 3 squared, plus y squared on 4 is the square of 2, so we have y squared on 2 squared equals 1. So therefore, we have a equals 3 and b equals 2. And remember that a is the length of the semi-major axis and b is the length of the semi-minor axis. So for the coordinates of the vertices, we have the x-intercepts at a0 and negative a0. And for the y-intercepts, we have coordinates 0, b and 0, negative b, which equals 3, 0, and negative 3, 0. And we have respectively 0, 2, and 0, negative 2. So if we plot these vertices on a graph, we can draw the ellipse straight away. So we have an x-intercept at 3, 0, another one at negative 3, 0, y-intercept at 0, 2, and another one at negative, sorry, 0, negative 2. So we can roughly now just sketch an ellipse that passes through all of these points. Okay, that's probably the best I can do freehand. And now with the directrices and foci, we need to work out the eccentricity. So again, the standard form of the ellipse is x squared on a squared plus y squared on b squared equals 1. Now with this b squared term, we write it like this for convenience. But it really is b squared is equal to a squared minus c squared which means that b squared is always less than a squared. Now the term c is simply the distance from the center of the ellipse to one of the focal points. And in an earlier video we found that the distance c is equal to the eccentricity times the semi-major axis. So here we have a squared minus the eccentricity by a all squared and from this I can factor out an a squared, so I can write this as a squared outside of 1 minus e squared. With the left hand side equal to b squared, if I divide now both sides by a squared, so that the a squareds on the right hand side cancel out, we have b squared on a squared is equal to 1 minus e squared. So I can rearrange this to say that e squared is equal to 1 minus b squared on a squared. And then taking the square root of both sides, I'll get e equals plus or minus, so it's algebraically, it is correct to say plus or minus 1 minus b squared on a squared, 
but eccentricity can only be a positive number. So that means we'll just take the positive solution and we'll discard the negative one. So we can simply say that E is equal to the square root of 1 minus B on A. So if we plug in the numbers now, we have the eccentricity equals 1 minus B squared was 2 squared and A squared was 3 squared. And this is equal to the square root of 5 on 9, which equals root 5 on 3. And this is approximately equal to 0 0.75, but it's probably more appropriate to leave it in third form. So the foci are located at EA0 and negative EA0, which equals, so the eccentricity root 5 on 3 by 3 is equal to root 5. So we have a focus at root 5 comma 0 and negative root 5 comma 0. And for the directrices, these have the equations x equals a over e and x equals negative a over e. So therefore we have directrices at x equals, so 3 divided by root 5 on 3, this equals 9 on root 5. And we have x equals negative 9 on root 5. Okay, so root 5 is approximately equal to 2.24. And 9 over root 5 is approximately equal to 4.0. All right. So if we plot these, we have a focus at 2.24, which is approximately here. So let's say this is the point F, which has the coordinates root 5, 0. And this is the focus F prime, which has the coordinates negative root 5, 0. We have a directrix at x equals 4. So this is the directrix x equals 4.0. And we also have one at x equals negative 4.0. So let's label this as D, and this one is D prime. And let's label these points as well. So we have A, the point A here, which is the positive x-intercept. We have the point A prime, the negative x-intercept. We have the point B, the positive y-intercept. And the point B prime, the negative y-intercept. So there we have a sketch of the ellipse. 4x squared plus 9y squared equals 36. Showing the vertices, foci and the directrices. Let's leave it here for this example video. We'll do a more complex example in the next one. So if you found this video helpful, please give me a like and please feel free to subscribe to my channel for more videos that may help you with your homework and assignments. Please share this video with your friends and please feel free to ask me any question by using the comments below. And I'll see you on the next video.